Hello, I'm Mark Willisey in Japan, and this is Foreign Correspondent. How would you feel living in the shadow of a nuclear power plant built on very shaky ground? Welcome to our nuclear power station. It sits on a fault line and the area is overdue for a huge quake. So many see this place as a catastrophe waiting to happen. We're about to enter reactor building number four. After Fukushima, ordinary Japanese are saying no to nuclear. To the money, to the assurances. From a fishing community trying to block an island plant. To one woman staying put in a shack and refusing a power company's millions. This is the house. Hi. Very famous. Hi. Tonight, the Fukushima syndrome, the mushrooming crisis of confidence over a nuclear future. Japan is energy hungry and addicted to nuclear power. But the tide is turning. The tsunami washed away old certainties and there's a growing wave of anger about the way the nuclear industry operates. In a country infatuated with fish, this is one of Japan's most famous tuna towns. These colossal bullet-shaped creatures once made the little village of Omar rich. Single specimens selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Look around in the crowd at today's marine festival and waving back at you is Omar's future. And it's not tuna, it's nuclear. Together with the Japanese government, the J Power Electric Company has dug deep to persuade this windswept community to let it build a nuclear reactor on the outskirts of town. When it's finished, it'll be the 55th reactor in Japan which has few fossil fuels and depends on nuclear for a quarter of its energy. Local fishermen got $130,000 each for agreeing to have it here. At school, Ogasawara is one of the few who hasn't given in. Omar's new reactor is just 250 metres from her cottage. Plants there. It's not far at all. Amitoかあと有刺鉄線とかやられるようになってきたら本当にもう威圧感があってなんか本当にもうなんつうの檻でもないですけどそういうふうに囲まれたような感じ。like her mother before her, she stubbornly refused to make way for it. So the nuclear company, J Power, is simply building the plant around her. This is the only way into her property, a narrow track fenced in by J Power. Everyone who visits is watched by a company security guard. So this is the house. Hi. So this. Very famous. Hi. This is the single room wooden shack on the property she inherited. <laughs> of the 176 landholders around here, her mother was the only one who refused to take the nuclear company's mountains of money. <laughs> She says with its incredible office burned, the company turned nasty.
歯の時はまずですねストーカー行為もう常にあの歯があの車を運転するんですが必ず後ろずっとついて歩いてどこ行くんでもついて歩くあとはヤクザを呼んであの説得に来るあとはあの脅迫の手紙はがきあとはあの町長とかあの、まあ、あの自治体とかその上の幹部の人たちが毎日のように説得に来るそれによってやっぱりその体の方にもちょっと異常をきたしましたし。そういうあの圧力みたいな感じでやっぱりちょっと病的になったりもし精神的にちょっとなっちゃったこともありますしね。で弟がマグロ取るんですよ。People in Omar used to look to the sea for survival。これだいたいもう200キロぐらい。ああ。でこれが多分ろ160。漁業で栄えればいいことであってそういう交付金とかそういうのをいただいてやっぱり人間って弱いもんでやっぱり楽してやっぱりそういう働かないで得るとやっぱそれこそ麻薬みたいなもんで。The operator of the Omar nuclear plant, J Power, refused to speak to foreign correspondent. Or to respond to the allegations of harassment made by Atsuko Ogasawara. It may be shy with the media, but in this town, J Power is an omnipresent force. Everywhere you look at Omar's annual marine festival, there are people sporting J Power shirts and fans. There's even a J Power stall. Where kids can have fun generating their own electricity. It's a tuna town with hardly any fish. Supplies have been destroyed by foreign trawlers. With many young people leaving for the city, local businessmen like Nariyatsu Miyano see nuclear power as the town's saviour. In my mind, it's only 150 million dollars. It's been said, but it's actually a farmer's shop. 医薬うんと保育所の保護さんとかそういう人件費に大間のから使えるようになりましたね。For that school, Ogasawara, it's an intensely personal issue. She's honouring a deathbed promise to her mother. But for the nation as a whole, there's also a powerful emotional connection to the nuclear debate. More than just about anyone on the planet, the Japanese know the destructive power of the atom. Every year, they come here to the site of the world's first atomic attack at Hiroshima to remember the victims. Each lantern represents a lost soul, but now there are new souls to pray for. The meltdowns at Fukushima earlier this year are the world's worst atomic disaster since Chernobyl a quarter of a century ago. They're believed to have led to as much radioactive cesium oozing into the ocean, earth, and atmosphere as nearly 200 Hiroshima bombs. Mono sugo impe kousak ga susunde ite. Sono tame niwa ma jouhou kakusu, aru iwa. えー、例えばその農作物とか食品農戦に関しても。After decades of accepting the message that nuclear is safe, many Japanese are now not so sure, and they're questioning the way the power companies operate. まあ日本人もいかにそのお金で自分たちの地域を買われてしまうのかとか売り渡してしまうのかっていうことに関してやっぱりもうちょっと反省しなくちゃいけないと思うんですよすごく巧妙にお金をばらまいて電力会社は自分たちでやりたいようにするしそのテクニックはものすごくあ,のあるんですけれどもフィルムメーカー・ウトミ・カマナカ is heading towards the heart of the latest disaster at Fukushima once dismissed as an alarmist fringe dweller Her anti-nuclear films have now become essential viewing. Her most recent work, produced just a year before the meltdowns, investigated how nuclear companies buy off and divide Japanese communities. 
<笑>頭からこう火を吹きそうなぐらいにものすごく怒りがある。車線とかその被爆に関して知識を持ってない人たちに対して正確な情報を提供してその人たち自身が自分たちで自分たちの選択をできるようにサポートしなければ何も変わらない。Before Fukushima, Hitomi Kamanaka struggled to be heard. But tonight, just 60 kilometers from the smoldering plant, she's treated like a hero. 原発事故があったおかげで原発は安全であるっていう、まあ、その神話が、まあ、すごく人々の心の中に染みていたんだけれどもでもその嘘がいっぺんにこうバレてしまったので人がついたそうです、はい、もう見,見なくてはいけないっていうかこれまで知らなかったけれどもやっぱり知りたいっていう思いがすごく多くの人たちに新しく出てきた。For more than 20 years, Hitomi Kamanaka has ranged far and wide making anti nuclear films, investigating what happens to spent nuclear fuel, and even traveling to Iraq after the first Gulf War to explore the impact of depleted uranium munitions on children there. やっぱりその目の前で子どもたちが死んでいったので、えー、そういう子どもたちを被爆で死なせるような社会を自分が支えているということは。そのレッカーランダーどこから来るのかって言ったら、まあ、原発のゴミだったでそれはそのゴミを私も日本で出していて、まあ、遠いところでまあ子どもたちを殺しているっていう現実に、まあ、自分がつながってるってことが分かっちゃったんですよね。It made her question why Japanese were so accepting of nuclear power, especially given the atom bombs at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. She says past governments teamed up with power companies and a compliant media to push the nuclear option through. っていうまあそういうメッセージを絶えず、えー、しかもそれにそれをその国民に言う人たちっていうのが国民的にまあすごくこう愛されているタレントであったりとか有名なその俳優であったりとかそういう人たちの口からそれらがこう伝えられてくるので。すごくパワフルにそのプロパガンダっていうものが効いてきたそういう,こうスティグマみたいなものがやっぱりこうペタペタっとこう原発に反対する人に貼られていたので人々はそれが怖いだからシーっていう感じで、まあ、反対する人たちに関してはそういうカラーをつけてもうそのステレオタイプの中にはめ込むし。And now she's warning of another potential nuclear disaster that could even affect Tokyo. まあ、世界で一番危険な原発はどこかと聞かれたらやはり浜岡だと言わざるを得ない。I'm about 200 kilometers southwest of Tokyo on my way to the Hamawoka nuclear plant. Now this nearly 40 year old plant sits right on top of a major active fault line, which is widely believed to be the focal point of a much anticipated magnitude 8 plus earthquake. So there's a worry here that if there's going to be another Fukushima disaster, it's going to happen here at Hamawoka. Hi. Yeah. Welcome to our nuclear power station. Thank you. I'm glad to meet you. You too. Thank you very much. Yeah. Kanji Nishida is the public face of the Hamawoka yeah. nuclear plant.、Uh, this is main control room, number five unit. After the Fukushima disaster, Hamawoka was ordered to be shut down, with fears it was not prepared for the big one, known here as the Great Tokai Quake. The forecasts are that in the near future, the chance of a nuclear disaster is 87% of the chance of a nuclear disaster. So, it's a little bit of a time to wait for the decision to be made. It's a little bit of a time to wait for the decision to be made. 申し上げましたように私どもは現状でも十分安全性が確保されていると。We're about to enter reactor building number four, so that is one of the newer reactors here, and to do that we have to put on all these safety clothes from undergarments on. So we're going to go in there now, and、uh, one of the things I will take in is this radiation reader and.、Uh, At the end of my stint inside, I'll be checked to make sure that everything's all right. <laughs> 